there's going to be lots of spoilers. And I mean lots of spoilers. This was the last X-Men movie going on for 20 years now. The Fox X-Men universe. And this was the last one. Was it good? Was it bad? Was it disappointing? Overall, I thought it was disappointing. A sad note to end on. And just very confusing. Starting with the beginning. Doing in filming order. So, go after the ship. So it's now been, what, 10 years or something, roughly. Have a look, ha don't look a day older. Of course. Um, they're now a fully fledged team. And... Quicksilver still hasn't told his dad, aka Magneto, that he's his son. Whatever, I'll get to that later. And so they, uh, they're also working for the government slash the president. Uh, which is interesting. I thought X-Men and the mutants are finally have been properly accepted and are safe. So they go on uh, up to the space mission to help the astronauts and save them. Which they do. Cook Silver has a cool part in it. Uh, Nightcrawler has a big part in this scene as well. And then the Phoenix Force, like when Jean has to rescue that final uh, astronaut guy, she, she accidentally gets left behind. And then the Phoenix Force, which just gets sucked into her, and it's just it's interesting how they did it. Even though in even though in Apocalypse, I must say something here. I do think Apocalypse is better. I prefer it anyway. Move it back to Dark Phoenix. Uh, I'm, it's interesting how they did it. Then they get back to Earth. Jean seems fine. Blah, 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 blah. Hank thinks she's just has too much power. Blah, 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 blah. Cyclops and Jean are an item slash couple. Cool. Just like in the comics. Uh, then... Raven and I'd say full of himself, Charles. I don't really like um, Professor X in this movie, but I guess later went on. Anyway, they have a huge chat about being safe, and then Raven thinks putting the kids. She he she thought that he wasn't taking care of the kids. That he she thought that she he should have been keeping them safer and that was too dangerous which it was correct um yeah i don't know not much to say on that part but i thought the first half of the movie was really good honestly it, it seemed like it was gonna be great then the whole accident happened also at the beginning of the movie you get gene's origin which is it's okay it kind of brings you into the movie feeling like eh, this is eh, this is gonna be okay right it's some it's it's a weird way to start the movie really. They have that in first class, uh and Days of Future Past. I think Apocalypse as well, but all three beginnings are a lot better and set up the movie a lot better. This one just didn't really work for me, I think. Moving back to it. Yeah, okay, so they go Yeah. So then, Jean comes back. They have the hot, and then everyone's celebrating that, and everything's fine. Scott gets worried about Jean. Everyone gets worried about Jean, and then Jean has that big incident, which I thought was an interesting way to show her power. So the start of her power manifesting. You also get an introduction to the villain, which I thought was eh. The villains in it were really boring. I mean, what were they? Were they scrolls? What? Just... <laughs> yeah, that was a bad thing. The villains. The villains were just forgettable. <laughs> anyway, and that also their aim to just... Their, their aim was a bit confusing throughout, but whatever. I'll get back to that later. Um, yeah. Back to, so yeah, they have an incident, Jean feels like she can't control this, so she, but then while she's asleep, 
Charles tries to enter her mind to see if she's okay, and then finds out her dad's actually alive. And then she goes there and leaves Scott uh, unconscious. Then the X-Men go to confront her because they're worried about her. I think they should. She should come home. I think they can help her. And Charles believes that they're not. She's not going to find anything good where she's going. And he was kind of right. Her his, her father was real douche, honestly. And then you basically have X Men versus Jean, which I thought was interesting. It was a good fight to see her level power absolutely destroys those police cars. A bit of low. And then she absolutely obliterates Quicksilver. I mean, I mean, he's not dead, of course, but he basically nearly dies. Like, the one, another bad thing, uh, back to this. Quicksilver, the whole movie, should have been... The, oh, I'll get to that, hold on. Yeah, Quicksilver should have had his, like, cool scene there when he's about to go, like, fight Gene, like he had in Apocalypse or something, and had music, like, in X-Men Apocalypse as well. But that just doesn't happen in the movie at all, and in these gets defeated pretty badly, really badly, and then doesn't show up till the like last second of the movie, or last minute. Uh, and he, we still don't know if he told Magneto that he's his son. Still don't know that. Again, there's a lot, we don't get much payoffs at all, it's just, I felt disappointing. Also, at the end, I think they should have had, like, a five years later scene, or a future scene, where they're all older, and you see them future versions. I thought that would have been interesting. Uh, also, Raven dies. It's interesting to see how each character reacted. I'm s I am I think they, I mean, they linked back to First Class a lot, but I think they should have had, like, a memory tribute thing for Raven that moved with some flashbacks. Yeah, so, it's sad, but I just... It wasn't as sad, because it was expected from the trailers. A few more, eh, not much to talk about. Then Jean goes off to find Magneto at Genosha, try to seek his help. Then the military come to try and take her down, which fails. Then she goes off, because she feels Magneto isn't going to help her. Then she runs into the villain, who then starts manipulating her controlling her and everything. Then Beast gets into an argument with Charles, rightly so though, and goes off to join Magneto to try and kill Jean to get revenge on her for killing Raven, which I thought was slightly out of character for him, but very interesting nonetheless. And tells Magneto which, yeah, okay, whatever. But yeah, back to Quicksilver and payoffs and everything. It's just, oh, uh, Magneto should have at least dropped a line knowing that he does know Quicksilver is son. Just one line would have been fine. Oh, that would have been fine. The cast-wise, the characters, the actors, they're, they're good. They're, I'd say they're really good. Not as good, though, as before. I think they did better in Apocalypse, but the new kids do better in this. The new actors do better in this. Uh, so there's no payoffs, because at the end of Apocalypse, uh, Psylocke goes off, doesn't come back. You know, Quicksilver is going to tell Magneto his father, doesn't happen. We don't know about Angel, if that's what the hell is going going on. No mention of Moira, whatever happened in Apocalypse. Who knows? Um, yeah, it was just a disappointing finish, really. And it didn't feel... I, they should have rebooted it or something, or just ended it Days of Future Past style or something, I don't know. But it was still... Anyway, I'll get to that later. And no mention of Mr. Sinister, even though they clearly set him up. So again, no payoffs or anything. Then... What else? Oh yeah, then they have a mini Civil War, Nightcrawler... Charles, Storm, and Cyclops versus Magneto, Beast, 
and Magneto's buddies, I guess, if you want to call them, all trying to kill... No. Well, Magneto and Beast want to kill Jean, and Cyclops and Charles is basically trying to stop them. Kind of like a mini civil war, which was sort of interesting. Then Jean looks like she's about to die, and it looks like the villain's about to win. But wait, no, that doesn't happen. Then they all get taken prisoner. Then the villain slash villains come to take the rest of the power, which I thought was just so generic. And then, just in the spur of the moment, they change her. Also, Magneto nearly gets killed. I thought that should have happened. There was, again, a lot of first-class references, but I think another first-class... I think all the first-class people should have died, apart from maybe... I think Charles should have died because of Jean. That would have been good to see that moment again. And I think Magneto... I think Magneto should have survived, definitely. And B should have just taken over everything. Which did actually happen. Anyway. So, yeah, they all get taken prison. Uh, then they all team up to stop the villain slash villains. Then Jane becomes full-on Dark Phoenix, which finally happens in the movie. Again, I think this is better than The Last Stand, which obviously is. Um, and you do get to see her full power. Uh, then she sacrifices herself, which is sort of not really sad that much, because I didn't really feel it that much. Again, I thought quite predictable, of course she's going to sacrifice herself. And then you see, yeah, and then you see sort of the outcome of that. So every X Men are sort of split in a way. Shot, yeah. Um, don't know what Storm's doing. Storm and uh, I think he's teaching now. I think Quicksilver is also teaching. Beast is now in charge of the school, which was interesting choice. Cyclops, oh yeah, the school's now Jean Grey School or whatever. Cyclops, I'm assuming he's still part of the school. And then, really nice moment is between Charles and Eric. They finally get another final chess, another final chess game, which was, thought, I think, really nice way to end it. So yeah, I thought really good ending. But I think I, I would have liked to have seen like a future. I still think they should have done another movie. I think Marvel should have let them have at least another X Men movie to just pay everything off and just properly end it but I think this is still an okay ending overall it was good exciting interesting although very disappointing in certain parts and not cr and some parts were a bit cringy but overall I thought it was okay I'd say I'd give it six or seven for Dark Phoenix anyway I'm a bit disappointing but Still, still an okay movie, and I like the ending, Charles and Eric kind of real. But yeah, it feels like X Men Apocalypse sort of ends the X Men First Class trilogy a lot better. It feels like they could have stopped there. They've got Jean, they've got Cyclops now, they could have just ended it there. Trying to do other Fox X Men um, lists as well, like top 10 moments of it and everything. So, look forward to that. And see ya.